Yeah. Welcome back to the Suyen Su Talk Show Cottage Talk with your host Suyen, reaching beyond the boundaries for social growth. I am very excited today. I'm joined instead of Cottage Talk today with my girlfriend, Janet Lumley. She's the CEO and founder of On The Move Travel. Welcome, Janet. Thank you, Marcia. Wow, you're looking beautiful. So do you. What happened? You went out and get all shopping and you know what? dolled up. You look so different. I did because there's, there's a purpose here. It's International Women's Day as well. Yes, it's International Women's Day. Celebrating that. Day. Yes. And to be a part of this movement, yes. I, I had to make something special to be here. Nice, nice. So, Janet, tell me a little bit about your journey. <clears throat> My journey is very extensive. Okay. From working with children, mm -hmm. working with adults, working with seniors. Yes. And I decided to incorporate it into my journey mm -hmm. with as a travel agent. Nice. So I'm um, a licensed travel agent in Ontario. Nice. And I'm um, able to provide travel services to destination weddings wor worldwide. So weddings, anything like that? Weddings, um, retreats, um, all-inclusive packages, nice. cruises, tours, wow. hotels, you name it. Girl, well, you're well-connected. You didn't tell me all of that about you. Well, I you see. didn't ask. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't ask. If you had asked, you would have known. Awesome. Yeah. So on the move travel. So what make you went on this journey or what started this journey for you? People. I'm a people person. Well, I, the world would say not all people are nice, which is the truth. So why people? No, because you know what? Me, though, my yeah. personality, uh -huh. I fit in with everywhere I go. Mm -hmm. I fit in with people. People yes. connect with me. Okay. Because of that special touch, that special service interaction mm -hmm. that I do with people on a regular basis. So because of the, the relationship you build with people over the years, you thought that on the move would be something to do yes. because it's a passion for people. It's relationship building. Relationship building. Yes, yeah, so I believe in relationship building 150%. Wow. Because when you build that relationship, mm -hmm. you know, people always come to you for whatever support. Yes. If you need to get connection in the community or with people, there's mm -hmm. not a problem. Because mm -hmm. you can just call somebody up and say, you know what, I need your help. Yes. Which is exactly how I met you. Yeah, that is true. And yes. you're very good at connecting yes, people. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Yes. So what are some of the new stuff that you're working on today? Well, well, well. Yes, because it seems like a whole lot of things is going on with you, and I got to make sure I'm sitting uncomfortable right now. <laughs> this is my passion. Yes, and what and is your passion? And what that is, I have a cruise that is coming up this November. Wow. Um, reggae Lucian. Reggae? I have heard about reggae sound splash. Reggae who? Lucian. Reggae what Lucian? Is it, what it is, is the awesome. evolution oh. of how reggae has evolved wow. over the years. And because in our community, it seems like we're losing mm -hmm. the component with reggae because mm -hmm. you know it has that special beat to it. Yes, that, that is true. That drives that movement. Mm -hmm. It seems like we're losing it. So what I'm doing, I'm connecting um, reggae to the world. Wow. I'm bringing it to, on this destination, which is on the um, Royal Caribbean, mm -hmm. Mariner of the, uh, of the Seas, mm -hmm. cruise ship, wow. November 16th to the 19th, wow. leaving from Miami, Florida to um, Coco Cay and Nassau cool. um, this coming November. Wow, so that is that is, that is is powerful. Yeah. And back to International Women's Day, because I find that there are so many powerful, powerful females in our communities that are making great impact and are making waves in our community. And I find that oftentimes it is swept under the rug because either someone will refuse to recognize you or they make it seem as if you're not just good enough. Because, you know, some people, they just really have a way of placing God beautiful creation in their own category and, and and that's not the fact and that is my I, I call myself a silent missionary wow silent missionary yeah because I do a lot of missionary work yes. silently and don't even realize that's what I'm doing wow can you share with us some of the missionary work that you've been doing yeah so um, in this one particular with the the cruise yes I'm mostly gonna be focusing on the youths Oh, the youths? Yes. So I'm bringing artists, reggae artists, uh -huh. on this cruise ship. Wow. And where they will be performing oh. live. On that cruise ship as well, there will be um, a seminar. A seminar? Educating, educating seminar? people yeah. about reggae, how it is uh, as evolved, and the reason why we yeah. need to sustain it. In that component, we're having an educational component as well, mm -hmm. where everybody will get valuable information to leave about 
reggae and its movement. Yes. And also exposure. Mm -hmm. I believe that people should be recognized yes. in whatever they do, no matter where they go in the world. Mm -hmm. And bringing these um, artists mm -hmm. under this, on this platform, okay. I believe it will impact lives. So how does that tie into the youth? Because I know you said you're bringing artists, okay, so you're bringing the legacy of reggae, mm -hmm. and it's a revolution show. How can youths that are watching this program that would like to be a part of this event, how, what's there for them? What, what is enticing that they would want to take this trip to be a part of this environment? Okay, so many of these youths, mm -hmm. especially here, they're always being left behind. They'll never be heard. Mm. Their voice, they, they don't have a voice because they're young. Okay. And because they don't have the experience, people don't listen to them. Yeah. So I figure putting them in a competition mm -hmm. where they will have an opportunity to, to compete. Okay. And to see their um, full potential. Oh. And after that, then we take them to another journey where we will educate them, give them the, the necessary tools mm -hmm. that maybe one day, not maybe one day, that one day they will become sustainable. Wow. In terms of they will be able to financially support themselves so, with the music. Yes. And it's not just music, it's anything in the arts. Okay. It could be fashion designing, yes. it could be, but I'm focusing on the reggae component. The reggae component. Because that's my mission right now, mm -hmm. to take this journey to expose artists. Mm -hmm. Um, not just in Toronto, but anywhere in the world. They go there, people will see them, book them, mm -hmm. and that's also sustainability for the veterans. Yes. And But with the new ones, mm -hmm. I want to create a platform and a legacy yes. for them that if one day I depart, mm -hmm. and, you know, they can say, well, I remember Janet, Miss Lumley. Yes. Not only that, my granddaughter, mm -hmm. one year old, but she already is connected with music. Wow, that is powerful. When she hears a drum uh -huh. or anything with entertainment, uh -huh. she's right up in the front of it. Wow. Yeah, and I figure I have to do something to yeah. also encourage her yes. to get to that level. That is powerful. So you will have a competition so they'll get a chance to execute their skills Correct. so others can see them. And also, I, I'm assuming there's a judging process yes. in place. Oh, yeah. So yes. uh, um, the event is consisted of judging yes. and all these um, different um, components. And the last time I heard, I guess I'll be teaching the webinar or the workshop. Yes. And so. this, <laughs> this board will be also influential yes. in this process as yes. well. Yes. Awesome. Um, and also, there's a young lady in the community. She owns a, um, a magazine mm -hmm. called um, Island Beats. Okay. Which is also reggae oriented. Yes. So for that, she's having a fundraising that she's giving back on her birthday yeah. on April the 21st. Awesome. So what I'm doing, I'm um, offering two free tickets for the cruise. I want those free tickets. I'm sorry. I want those free tickets. No, 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 no. You, you didn't offer me any free tickets. What's going on here? No, but you have to donate. Okay. Uh, that's part of it. All right. You have to donate mm -hmm. in order to get that ticket. All right. So you can enter to win. Mm -hmm. um, and there are lots of other fun things that we'll, we're working on right now. So, well, Janet, I'm looking forward to the cruise November the... 16th to the 19th. 16th to the 19th. And Leave it's the revolution. revolution. Yes. yes. And... I have a movement, uh -huh. I have to mention that, mm -hmm. is Reggae is Love. Reggae is Love, wow. Yeah. What can you say? Reggae influenced the world, it yes. influenced gospel today, it influenced um, country and western, thank you. and it does empower people. So yeah. I wanted to say thank you very much for taking the time to come on and talk to us today, Janet. Thank you, Marcia. Awesome, thank awesome. You. Thank All you, right. baby. Classic Ambiance. For your own destination wedding, email Classic Ambiance at ClassicWeddings at Yahoo.com. Makeup services on today's show were provided by Smart Choice. Call Smart Choice at 416-788-0823 today. Visit Stava's Menswear today for all your bespoke or off-the-shelf menswear needs. Visit Bramalee City Center at 25 Peel Center Drive or stavasmenswear.com. To advertise with us or to be a part of the show, please visit syscottagetalk.com or call 647-272-9762.